the last day of uh, April, I think, or almost the last day. I think it's the 29th or something like that. Or March, sorry. 29th of March. Anyway, so I'm going to plant some tomatoes here. I am mean tomatoes. I'm going to plant some potatoes. And we've got some potatoes here that uh, we've had in the basement, and they've uh, started to sprout. Let me bring you over here and show you what we've got. Now, these potatoes, some of them came out of this bag, and all it says is red Idaho potatoes. And, you know, there's several different kinds of red potatoes, so I don't know, you know, what we've got, really. Uh, but as you can see, they are quite ready <laughs> to be planted. Now, when I was a little boy, when I was four years old, my daddy told me how to plant these. And I remember my job was to, as he uh, uh, would put the shovel in the ground and he'd push it forward. And there'd be a space behind the blade there on that shovel. My job was to throw the potatoes in behind the, the, uh, the uh, shovel blade. And then he'd, of course, cover it up. He told me two things. He said, plant them deep. And also, uh, you can cut these up anywhere there's an eye, theoretically. You can cut them up and each one will grow. Now, you, as you can see, uh, all of these have eyes in a lot of places, but most of them just have a, an eye that's sprouted in one place that's doing well. Except this one here. This one's got three of them. They're sprouting really good. Anyway, I'm, the, I'm not going to bother cutting these up because I have so many of them. So I'm going to put these in the ground, and I'm going to plant these. They're just, uh, what do they call it? it? These said ruby, I've torn the package here, but it said ruby red something kind of potatoes, you know, and uh, so it didn't really say what kind these were either. But as you can see, these are starting to sprout, maybe. So I'm not going to depend on those too much. What I'm going to do is plant these and spread them out, and then just plant these kind of in between. Now, in between, what I've got here, you may have seen a video I've got in the past of my my home-built electric uh, tiller, and it works really, really well. I'll put a link in this so you can see it if you want. But this is a this was a gas tiller, and uh, the I bought it from someone for almost nothing, and I took the engine off of it when it threw a rod, and I put this electric motor on it, and boy, it works great. But anyway. So what I've done is I've tilled up this section right here. You can see. Let me get back where you can see it better. By the way, this is an old chicken coop where there's, you know, used to have a lot of chickens. And so the ground is really fertile in here. But anyway, there's the, uh, the little furrow that I've tilled up. And the reason I tilled it was to make it easier to dig into the ground. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plant those potatoes all along here in kind of a single row I guess and then uh, let them sprout and uh, see see how they grow hopefully we'll have a good harvest now you can see the watering system see those sprinklers that comes from in the uh, other greenhouse next door there's sprinklers on this side too there's nothing planted here yet but uh, we'll start watering these and uh, we'll have some potatoes to do is plant these just like my daddy when I was four years old told me that what he'd do he would he, we, we had a big potato patch by the way and so it took us a couple hours at least to plant them so what he did was he pushed the shovel in like that let's see if we can I should have tilled this up some more seems like there's a rock or something in there let me yeah, there we go that's better Okay, what he do is he push that, he push that uh, sh blade in, and he push the shovel forward like that, and he, I would be the guy to drop him in, and then he pull the dirt forward, and there you go, there's one. Remember when I was just little, my, I used to think my daddy was the smartest, strongest guy in the world. Every little boy should probably think that. Well, anyway, I'm going to do that for this whole row here. There won't be a lot of potatoes, but. Hopefully if I get 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds of potatoes out of here, I will consider this a roaring success.